Hi, welcome back to I've Had Worse, and today I'm doing another blind taste test. This time it's French lagers. We have a premium brand. This is Cronenberg 1664, been around for years. And this is Aldi's 1897. Now you can't tell me that the design on this little bad boy is a coincidence. Of course it's not. So what do they taste like? Well, only one way to find out. Let's put these into a glass. I'm not gonna know which is which. I'll tell you which one I prefer and we'll see which one comes out on top. Okay, so here we are. So we've got two very similar looking lager style beers. Um, let's go for this one. Oh, that's quite bready. A bit malty on the nose. Quick sniff of the other one. Similar aroma, but a little bit stronger on this one. So I'm going to start with this one first. Nice bit of subtle maltiness. Quite a thin mouthfeel. Little bit of bitterness, not much, it's very pleasant. Not overly bitter, just a little bit on the back end. Not much sweetness, it's good. I like that one. So the head's virtually dissipated on this one. So no multi, Again, a little bit of bitterness, no multi hit. Mm. Okay. So this one doesn't have much going for it. More on the nose. In fact, now, get my nose in there. It's virtually. It's virtually dissipated for both of those. Okay, so this one is a little bit it's quite watery. There's not a great deal going for that one. Okay. So again. Then both not much to write home about. No big strong flavours. I suspect the one in my right hand might be the supermarket's fake copy. I suspect this one might be the premium brand, although they bandy that word around, you know, so much these days it doesn't mean anything. Okay, I think this is the Cronenberg. I think this is the fake French beer. I say fake really, they're both really fake, they're both brewed in the UK. Um, so, okay, that's what it is. I would say this one is the premium one. I mean, the question is, would I get this one again? And you know, I don't think I would. I think whatever this one is, I'm not, it's better than this one, but I'm not getting it again. Oh, come on, let's have the reveal. Yeah, you can look. Okay, well, there you go. I really am surprised. I, it's been a while since I've had Cronenberg and I always thought that it wasn't bad. I've had some wicked hangovers with it and you know, I don't drink a great deal, but yes, I really am surprised about that. So the fake beer tastes better than the premium one. I got it completely wrong. So the fake beer tastes better than the premium one, but 
Are you going to write home and tell your dad all about it? I don't think so. Yeah, mm, nothing really special. Okay, so what strength are we? Okay, so this is a 5% uh, by volume in a 440 mil can. And this one is also a 5% by volume in a 400 mil can. You can't taste that. That 5% that strength doesn't come through. So if you like your French beer that's brewed in the UK, um, give uh, Aldi a go in their 1897. There you go. Uh, as ever, be good to yourselves. Cheers.